Hello Galaxy Heroes. So, Benjamin Burton requested that I do some Imperial uh, fleet battles. Didn't mind whether it was PvE, to which I responded, well, I'm farming both Man the Mandalorian and Grief Karga. So I've already uploaded and that's published the, um, the Mandalorian, the 5E hard node fleet battles. This one is the Grief Karga one, and I believe it's 4C Dathomir um, is this one. So, again, this is going to be... Okay, so first things first, there you go. That's the first battle, or the first recording saved, as we'll work through this one. Um, so... The previous one had five Executrix or Grand Admiral Tarkin capital ships. Um, this one, I'm sorry to say, only has four Grand Admiral Thrawn. The, uh... oh God, I've forgotten what his ship's called. Wow. How about that? Um, yes. So I'm going to open up Yorkie's account because I can't remember. But whilst doing that, <clears throat> dawned on me and I haven't mentioned it um, in any of the vids recently uh, anything about this unity update for the game um, the reason I mention it now is because it would be wonderful if we were finally finally able to do ship loadouts and we've got the Camara of course it is you know, we've got 40 odd ships or the ability to have 40 odd ships. Um, how many? It was six capital ships, is it? Or maybe even more? Um, it would be nice to just have some loadout options uh, so we can just make it a bit easier rather than having to filter or hunt and peck throughout all of them. Um, quick note here the Grief Karga shards seem to be dropping a bit better than the Mandalorians. Um, maybe that's just me. Normally, you know, I can only go on my experience of drop rates unless people are publishing theirs. Um, you're going to get five battles here. And, yeah, the grief was... was Well, that first shard is 100% better than the Mandalorian run. So maybe that's it there so here we've got Ty Reaper gauntlet and again I can't see what my tank is I don't have a tank I've gone all offensive cool so the the gauntlet has some nice little features <clears throat> one of which is that it gains was it 15 speed or something for each empire ally so we've got three there because i believe you count the gauntlet as an empire ally even though it is its own ship and then you've got grand admiral thrawn who is empire adding in a fourth so yeah and just um, I, I covered in the previous one saying that this video is a lot shorter simple reason being that this is 4c ergo it's not as difficult a node than the 5E. Doesn't take as long to kill them. They're a bit weaker. So yeah. So there you go. There's there's combination. Was that? No, that's combination number two. Um, oh, oh yeah. Sorry, just to say, slight spoiler alert. The fifth battle. Uh, guilty pleasure. I just wanted to try. Or I just wanted to run. Um, the finalizer first order. Because again, that gets loads of loads of additional speed, I believe, with more first order, and this wasn't really challenging. And I've got my sub, more my Merc, my Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Ergo, I had to uh, relic um, some higher than other first order crew members. Well, believe only is it only first order officer that isn't in a ship um I, I think nearly all of them have ships other than that yeah because kylo ren has his 
shuttle. And then Kylo Ren unmasked as the silencer. Uh, one of my favourite ships. Although I must admit I am liking a maxed out TIE Advanced. It does a lot of damage. And I believe TIE Advanced is one of only two ships that hit through Foresight. The other one being Anakin's ETA. Um, so yeah, yeah. I am liking TIE Advanced. That wasn't TIE Advanced, of course, that was the TIE Bomber. Um, which I've just realised because it just bombed. Yeah. So, <clears throat> unfortunately, the two nodes I went against are pretty much like for like capital ships wise and therefore more darker side. Although I think, you know, actually, no, we had a, we had, um, we had the Ghost and Phantom in the five E ones popping in. Um, but here, sorry, I've taken a painkiller. I want to get this out before I absolutely crash. But I, I did the two vids, so I'm fighting. Um, I'm fighting to stay awake and get these out. So if I'm droning a bit, apologies. I just, as I say, I just wanted to get the content out. Um, I actually went on a kind of a ship fest today. So I've even, and that will probably won't be uploaded until tomorrow now. I even did my ship payout climb and I also got the, uh, I captured the light side territory battle ship as well, ships uh, with a negotiator. So yeah, um, waffling on, waffle, waffle, waffle. So we're still going Grand Admiral Tarkin this time round, TIE Advance times one is going in with the TIE Bomber and Imperial TIE Fighter and then it's dropped down again. Loadouts would be lovely. Just build them and just select them. I talked over and I couldn't quite see but it looks like Scimitar was the fourth one. I mean, the, the, the unfortunate thing is, of course, is that these are much easier nodes. So these ships are doing a lot of damage um, which means that we're not we're not needing to call in, you know. That, uh, if we call in past the first reinforcement, then we're kind of probably doing very badly here. But uh, oh, it was fun. Thank you, Benjamin, for requesting it. I I have enjoyed um, trip down memory lane with uh, two of the kind of a well. One original meta, i.e. Tarkin. I must admit, I was a Tarkin fan from the get-go. Um, even before Geo's got the real synergy that that they seem to have got. Well, I mean, Geo's under the malevolence are just off the chart. Um, they're not bad with Tarkin. They still do all the assists and everything. Unfortunately, Days just shuts all of that down immediately. So, uh, okay, so here we go. Guilty pleasure, sorry. Um, it is dark side, uh, but it's newer dark side. Although I don't really get to use silencer. I mean, I know it's easy, so I'm just banging in um, four first order ships and then I'm just going to fluff it out with some other bits but spoiler alert I mean you know I've got a, a, the shuttle's got a, a relic 7 Kylo and a relic 5 Phasma and a relic 5 Fost um, the silencer's got a relic 7 crew and um, relic 3 I believe basically the minimums for the two pilots but I do like the fact that pilot calls in the assist. I mean, you know, so I slap a f another fast ship in and what you've got is kind of like a, a blitzkrieg for um, home one and fast rebels. 
just got to make sure that the speeds are there. But the silencer, I believe, at the moment is the fastest ship in game. So, yeah, and they get all the boosts and everything. So if the, you can get them to go first, then technically they can literally stun um, the MILF and then uh, dispatch with ease. So that's it. Um, that is the end of the run. And I thank you very much for watching.